is the frame is right now hi guys welcome back to my channel i am super excited to be talking about something very interesting today with the cricketing world buzzing with excitement over world cup in this video we are going to explore some critical cricketing skills that needs biomechanical attention and biomechanical analysis along with the whys behind their significance although there are like several skills in this sport we are going to talk about the top five which are associated with the most number of injuries and which can get benefited from a detailed and comprehensive biomechanical analysis so at number five we have running between the wickets this might account for a minimal risk of injuries as compared to the other skill of the sport but analysis of this skill can give you some crucial information for instance the analysis of coordination abilities change of direction abilities reaction time and running velocities are great indicators of fatigue among batsmen so at number four we have batting so batting is associated with an injury risk of approximately about 24.7 percentage most of these injuries are related to upper limb biomechanical analysis of batting including the stance the grip the body movement and the batsman's footwork can locate the strengths and the weaknesses of a batsman along with the trajectory of the shot. So moving on, at number three, we have fielding. Fielding is associated with moderate risk of injuries as compared to the other two skills which we are going to discuss further in this video. However, even with the lower risk, fielders are not exempt from potential injuries, especially given the number of dives, throws, catches and sprint that comes along with fielding. So biomechanical analysis offers insight to the fielders about their movement and about their technique particularly in two crucial areas body positioning and arm movement talking a little bit more about body positioning biomechanics allows fielders to understand which is the most suitable or effective body positioning while they are diving to stop boundaries or while taking catches so about arm movement biomechanical analysis can aid the fielders to understand how they optimize their arm movement while they are throwing or catching a ball or stopping a ball. So next up at rank number two, we have wicket keeping. So even though wicket keeping is not exposed to the highest level of physical intensity in comparison to the other skill of the sport, it still faces challenges and risk of injuries. Biomechanical analysis empowers wicket keepers to understand and mitigate these inherent risks by offering a detailed analysis of the key aspects of their play, including the crouching style, the glove work and the footwork. So wicket keeping and fielding together accounts for an injury risk of approximately around 29%. Finally, at rank number one, we have the most popular and probably the most favored among all the skills in the sport, bowling. This skill presents relatively the highest risk of injury with stands at approximately 41.3 percentage. The high intensity nature of the fast bowler's action involving sudden and explosive delivery of the ball can lead to various physical stresses and strains. However, biomechanical analysis is a ray of hope for bowlers. It provides a comprehensive understanding of their bowling action by dissecting the anger, speed and delivery points with precision, biomechanical analysis equips the bowlers with the insight needed to fine-tune their techniques. Biomechanical analysis involving stuff like bowling styles, spin mechanics for spinners, bowling variations like yorker or bouncer can make a great difference with the quality of bowling and the overall well-being of the player. So there you have it top five skills in cricket that needs biomechanical attention and analysis. In our coming videos, we are going to talk about each one of these skills in detail and what are the parameters that need to be analyzed which will make a great deal of difference. So cricket is just not another sport. It is the most popular and favorite sport of the country. So many people are pursuing this sport at so many different levels and it is important to know that after a certain point, if you're struggling because of an injury and you're not able to up your performance because of any given reason, biomechanical analysis of these five skills can make a huge difference and really help you out. I really hope this video was helpful for you and was informative. If you did like it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, keep moving, keep learning and keep exploring. See you soon.